Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today we are talking about how to move an object along a path in After Effects. It seems like it should be a pretty straightforward thing to do, however it's quite cryptic and under the hood. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to do it. So I'm not going to spend much time today on this because I want to keep it quick because it's quite simple. So I'm going to move pretty fast. So let's say that we have a circle and we want to move an object around this circle. Okay, so to do that, let's dive in and the first thing we need to do is we need to select the path. We need to select the path that we want to move around. So let's go to that path and let's select a keyframe. So let's lay a keyframe and then I want to take that keyframe and I'm going to copy it. So I'm copying the keyframe and then now let's make the object that we want to move around it. Let's just take a rectangle and let's center our anchor points. I'm going to take our rectangle and now we want this rectangle to go around the circle or I guess it's rectangle square close enough. Um, so how do we do that? So uh, as you remember we copied the circles path so now we want to go to our shape layer and we want to hit P for position. When we hit the position keyframe we're going to select this and we're going to paste. As soon as we paste you're going to see what happens. So we're going to paste and instantly it lays keyframes. It's kind of magical. And what these keyframes are is are keyframes that are roving across time. So what, what After Effects is saying is I want you to move from point A to point B and I want you to keep a steady motion. I don't know how it actually determines the algorithm, but that's what it does. Uh, it just gives you a constant motion. Uh, so for this one, it determined that it should take two seconds. Now, if you want to make it longer, you can just select the last keyframe and pull it out. And now it's going to take longer to do the motion. Okay, so that's cool. And then what's great about this is once you have it laid, you can kind of just do what you want. So essentially each point is represented. No, actually it's not. I thought each point was represented by a keyframe, but it looks like it's not. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so there's a fifth point here somewhere. I'm not really sure where it's coming from. Um, but what you can do is you can, you can move the points. And as you do this, if you watch the keyframes, you'll see that they're bending with it, trying to maintain. So now it's not actually going to go around the circle anymore. It's going to go around the path that we're telling it to go for the position. Um, and if you don't want it to rove across time, uh, just come here and unselect rove across time. And then you can just kind of move these however you want. You can just say, all right, I want you to stop here. I want you to freeze frame. And then I want you to go again. So you have lots of options. But the main takeaway here is that uh, set your path, copy the path, and then paste it to your position, and then you kind of have something to work with. And um, the more the more points you have, the more uh, keyframes you should have. So I hope that helped, and this one's a quick one. Thanks for watching.